He should be putting the hatch closing into work. So Alex Kropochka now uh, joining uh, Jeff Williams and Alexei Ovchinin uh, there in the uh, passageway as they are about to say farewell to their uh, three counterparts uh, before making their way through the hatch. And the three crew members uh, now making their way in as of in uh, last uh, to wave. Undocking confirmed, physical separation confirmed. At 4.51 p.m. Central Time, 5.51 p.m. Eastern Time, as the Soyuz TMA-20M spacecraft and the International Space Station flew 258 statute miles over eastern Mongolia. Separation of the objects of the vehicle. Copy. An outstanding view from the truss camera, one of the new HD external cameras. Expedition 49 technically underway. There are no objects in it, so nothing, no foreign objects. Copy. The journey home begins for Williams, Ovchinin, and Skropochka. Yes, one and two is done, so now we're getting ready for Trust to select. And he's in the chair and actually. And that is NASA's Jeff Williams. Now back in the chair. So he was sucking out. Now again, he's with his uh, flight doc, his uh, surgeon, Dr. Joe Schmidt, and NASA astronaut Pat Forrester here to welcome him back along with uh, the NASA Russia team. Uncle Joe Montalbano from the International Space Station Program, but Jeff Williams, NASA's most experienced astronaut now out of the capsule in his chair, once again back home here on planet Earth. And Rob, cut in any time you guys get that video back, but uh, two of the crew members are back out, now just waiting on Skrapocha. He'll be the third and final. <laughs> Jeff Williams in very high spirits. And Dan, we now uh, have video back on, from the landing site, uh, looking at uh, Jeff Williams smiling broadly, sitting next uh, to his Soyuz commander, Alexei Ovchinin. Yep, and right now they're doing all just those initial medical checkouts, just quick takes of the vitals and things like that before they get ready to move off to the medical tent. I think all three of these crew members are going to be participating in the field test study. So they'll be on the ground for about an hour and a half or so until they load up in a drone helicopter. And here, safely back down on the ground. Uh, now all of the uh, final uh, work on the Soviets is going to begin. Pretty soon they'll be uh, taking out samples of various science experiments, uh, human uh, research facility samples, a number of others that come down in the small cargo uh, complement inside the Soyuz spacecraft, uh, but for now all three crew members in the chairs, again, just doing these initial medical checkouts, and then they'll get carried uh, one by one individually over to the medical tent, which is now erected. It's a big inflatable orange tent just a few hundred feet from here, and they'll be heading in there. They'll do a little bit more extensive medical checkouts, and then begin those field tests that we talked about just a little while ago, uh, each of those taking about an hour um, they'll be doing them simultaneously, so it'll be about an hour, an hour and a half uh, total time for the crew now here on the ground before they load back up into helicopters and make their way to Karaganda for the welcoming ceremony. And then once there, they'll go. As uh, the crew uh, watched uh, all of our coverage uh, in a video uplink, and now we'll watch as the crew is brought into the medical tent. 
Yeah, but uh, Keenan was just carried off, and now they're picking up Jeff Williams. Getting a thumbs up from his flight doc. He's in great condition. The veteran space flyer, no stranger to these reentries, making his way now over to the medical tent. And just up behind. It's not an easy job carrying a cosmonaut. Getting a round of applause from some of the Rosan Vyasa, the search and recovery forces. We do an amazing job nice. getting the crew members, locating nice. the castle, and getting all the teams out here in the very remote regions of Kazakhstan. Take your time. 